I'm very, very pleased to see here tonight, one of our favourites on World of Sport. Uh, when we were developing the program and we needed things that got publicity, uh, we asked this guy would he help us with a particular feature that we thought was a good idea, and we introduced the World of Sport Fashion Parade. John Gould. Great right. to have you back, John. Yes. Marvellous to be back with all our mates, Rob. Yes, and then after, uh, after he left uh, football, uh, he came in one Sunday, and would you believe he bought his polo ponies? That's right. <laughs> I, think, I think they caught Louis on the hop, didn't they? I think so. Every time Louis has been stuck for words, I think a horse spoke louder than he did. Do you see any football now? Yeah, I get the odd game. I was just a fanatical watcher of your show and um, love, always love football. It's, yeah. uh, it's a game that's helped me enormously in life and I'll always put a lot back into it. But I'm down in the bush with my horses and sheep and cattle, yeah. so I didn't get much chance. But certainly, you know, I watch, watch the box all the time. Watch you Channel went to the Nationals this afternoon? So, yeah, marvellous day sport. Yeah, great yeah. performance. Uh, by the old grey horse in New Zealand. In the yeah? Unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, if anyone loves sport, to watch what that horse did, the courage it showed and... Uh, the constitution, the jockey, the dip at the last two fences has still come up and won with excitement for anyone. Anyone who wants to knock no, no, jumping like that, you know, I think it certainly makes winter sport. Football and, sh and jumping like that makes sport in Victoria marvellous. John, you look terrific. You look as though you play half back again. I oh, just let the horses do the work. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming along Thanks anyway. Much, John. Thank oh, you. there's one friend of ours over here uh, talking with Keith Stackpole. John Darcy. John? Great to oh, see you here. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Well, it's marvelous to be here. Oh, really commercial man, eh? Oh, yes, I was. That's true, with Uncle Doug, and I'd like to thank him very much for giving me my start on television. Well, it's great to have you back with us, Bob. Thank you very really much good. indeed, Ron. Keith Stackpole with us tonight, Keith. Good day, Ron. Yeah, it's nice to have you with us at World of Sport. Thanks very Looking much. Looking forward to a big season. Oh yes, a long way off yet, but yes. uh, looking forward to getting the footy out the road yet, so as I can get all the household chores done. <laughs> okay, thanks for joining us tonight. Um, I'm looking for uh, someone up here, uh, one of our very early producers. Oh, it's Max Walker. Max? Hey, g'day, Ron. How are you, pal? Oh, very good. Talking to Keith Stackpole over there. He said the cricket season seems a fair way away at the moment. Yes, I believe he's working very hard with Redders on the Victorian side. I think uh, we might see a big improvement in the Vicks this year. Yes. That policy of youth will start to show a bit of fruit now. What about the West Indies in England? They're showing them very little mercy. Oh, hey? they're just an unreal mob, aren't they? Aren't Gosh, they? Uh, Malcolm Marshall, I think that must have been a fresh of breath here for him to break a thumb, but they're a great side and I think it'll be a fantastic summer out here this year. A fellow you know pretty well, Peter Burge, was telling me a couple of weeks ago that when he played he only had to worry about Wesley Hall at one end and they had somebody much gentler at the other. He said now there's one at each end and two more to come. <laughs> they, had, they, had, uh, yeah, they had Brian Booth over there and he used to say a prayer for him before they went out just to say they'd come back in one piece. <laughs> Max, okay, fantastic. We've got the uh, president of the Victorian Football League, Dr. Alan Aylett, with us tonight. Alan, thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, My you, pleasure. You, I know you've been a visitor to World of Sport on many occasions, but uh, tonight's a special night. I'm glad you called by. Thank you very much, and it's just so great to see so many familiar faces, and congratulations to you. Thank you. Wonderful be, effort. Be some fibs told tonight, do you think? Oh, I'm certain of that. I'm certain of that. Thanks, Alan, Super for coming along tonight. It's terrific. John Dixon, I'm looking for. John, could I just... John Dixon was the original uh, director of, uh, of World of Sport and uh, he's gone on to be involved in much less troublous things like the man from Snowy River and uh, all of those uh, great lavish productions but John they were great times in the early days of World great. Sport weren't they? We, I think we explored a new area of television. I think so yes. <laughs> Remember when we started they said television had to be neat, uh, clean, precise and uh, never see a camera on shot, never see a light. <laughs> we fixed that. We changed the light, didn't we? <laughs> we we certainly did. We John, uh, I mentioned the man from Snowy River. You've also been involved in, of course, some spectacular commercials. Those commercials for Carlton United Brewery, which uh, are really world class. Uh, what's the, what are you looking for in the future now? I'm uh, going on to a mini series which I've written, Ron, called yes. Anzacs. Yes. And uh, you want to go on with that? Yeah. <laughs> no, not exactly, but never mind about that. Um, uh, but. Uh, I suppose uh, World of Sport was fairly valuable well, period. World of Sport was the greatest training ground you could have yeah. because you had to throw all the rules away yeah. and uh, we had to, as everybody said tonight, it started with chaos <laughs> but then you had to have